welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. And of course, welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see. And if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button, which is free, and the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads that I come up with. I want to thank every single one of you for your thumbs up, your comments, your suggestions, opinions, sharing, tagging me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I also have a Facebook group, private group, um, that you can be part of as a member, as long as you have a profile uh, picture or profile period, and you will be approved. Um, there's a lot of scammers and a lot of fraud going on, especially with links that says bit or cut. And these frauds and scammers are all over the crochet groups now. So be careful. Don't open those links up. And for that reason, my group is private. I also have Instagram and uh, TikTok, uh, Facebook crochet page, also all in the same name, Crochet Art Tutorials by Maggie Lopez. You can find me on all social medias with the same name and same picture as on here uh, for the YouTube. Um, thank you so much for the women that have come through to help other women in need, either donating thread or donating money. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, so we are going to get started normally i use a 3.5 3 or 275 hook little one to cut a uh, two tuck in little ends and um, of course a pair of scissors please don't forget to give a thumbs up always on the video not just on my channel but any other creator that you're involved with it's extremely important for us creators we cannot keep going on and spend so many hours and so much money on cameras on lighting on thread on hooks and so on you know how it is without us being recognized by youtube so please make an effort on that we really do appreciate you let's get started everyone thank you so much again okay everyone so today it's going to be a very short tutorial on these little leaves um i was requested uh one of my uh followers uh that's in my facebook um had sent me a photo of a round rug uh with some margaritas and um, leaves and things like that um which i'm going to create a similar one but not round it will be oval now uh i'm gonna create do the tutorial on these leaves because i will need them for the tutorial of the round rug so in order for it not to take too much room on my mobile i like to create leaves separately or flowers separately because then i can put them on the playlist as flowers and leaves it will take these margaritas and these leaves i will have the link to the margaritas in my uh, description box so if you're following me you're subscribed you have your bell notification on then you will see the rug being produced or the tutorial and if you're interested on it it will take a lot of details on the rug it's absolutely stunning and uh, so you can uh, follow up uh, once I am done with the rug, then I will link it back into these leaves. If people might be interested. What are these leaves for? But they will be used in the margaritas uh, for the rug. So um, I decided to go ahead and do the tutorial on these leaves itself because it will be used for the rug. It's an oval rug, but there's a lot of details on it, and it's absolutely stunning. It is not my creation of the rug. Um, it is one of the uh, most uh, intelligent, uh, unbelievable designer, um, Deborah Tavares. She's from Brazil also, and she's quite, quite intelligent, beautiful artwork that she does. And the rug is hers. It's her design, her creation. And I will be uh, doing the tutorial on it. So a big thank you to Deborah um, Tavares. Amazing work. So if you want to follow up, make sure you're subscribed. So we're going to get started on just the little leaves like this, and we'll be adding them on. They're, just, they're so easy, and they're so beautiful. Uh, there's like a little Nerve 3D in the back here once it's done, and that's the part we're going to be gluing it on so they can uh, stick out. Okay? Okay, everyone. So I'll just get this out of the way, not to be distracting. 
we're going to do the slip stitch knot, which never counts as a chain, or almost never counts as a chain. And I'm going to do 12 chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, if you wanted these leaves to be bigger, you can go ahead and increase more on the chain, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you're not going in the first one right after the hook. You're coming in the second one. And you have to hold it all together. So we're just going to do go into the loops like that until the end. So very simple. It's like I said, it's a very short tutorial because it's just on these little leaves, which I didn't have yet. Um, the margaritas tutorial is already on my playlist where flowers are. So you just go all the way to the end. I've come to the end. You have to hold it before it all escapes. And now we're going to be taking out by two at a time. So I took out two. I took out two, took out two, another two, another two, until the end. And the last two. Okay, now we're going to turn it. turn it and we're going to come in again where we have it on this side and do the same thing okay inside of each chain we have back here and stretch it a bit okay don't tighten it too much These are four ply, 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. Mine's a little bit smaller, so of course my patterns or my leaves will be smaller a bit than Aunt Lydia. So you go all the way to the end. And again on this side, you take out two, take out two, take out two, take out two, all the way to the end. And of course, you can use this on any project with any other leaves and flowers, 3D flowers. I mean, it's just stunning. Or even the daisies. Okay, so we've did it all the way to the end already. I'm going to cut my thread. I'm going to do one chain to secure it. And then I'm going to come back here. I'm going to turn it around again. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to pull this string to the back because we'll be gluing this flat part and the 3D part will stay up. Actually, they, they both look like they're 3D, but there's one side that's higher than the other, which is this side. So I'm going to just tuck in my loose ends here and bring the string back because this is the flat part. And because this will be glued into the pattern, you won't be able to see any of the, the string on here. Okay, and just cut it. I'm going to just cut a bit. I don't want to cut too much because I'm going to be gluing this just to make sure that it's going to stay secure in the back. So here's the little leaves. How easy is that? Now, it would be the same thing if you did bigger, right? So let's say we're going to do a 14 chain slip stitch knot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Move this out of the way. So we don't do the first one. We come into the second one and pull. Just go right through and stretch it a bit. As you're going, it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Okay, the loop, I should say, as you're stretching. 
just have to make sure you hold it or it all comes down. We're almost at the end. My last one. Make sure you turn it facing properly. Take out two, take out two, take out two, another two. So very simple and it creates beautiful little leaf. Okay. Now we're going to turn it. And we're going to come back here and do the same thing. Just going in through that loop back here of the chain. And stretch that thread of yours so it doesn't become all crumpled up on you. Oops, almost lost it there. And one more. So I'm just going to fix it here. Like that makes it easier, right? Take out two, take out two, and take out two. Take out two, take out two, take out two. Take out two. All the way to the end. Okay, and I'm going to do one chain, pull it through, like how pretty that is, and then tuck it in, bringing it to the back. Now, when you're bringing it, you don't want to pull too much because you don't want it to be bending at the tip, right? Big shout out to all my beautiful amazing members, uh, family members of YouTube that always comment, always give thumbs up. Thank you so much. And for the ones that have tagged me, for the ones that have donated and tipped me, thank you so much also. Big hugs to all of you. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't need to continue all the way down. So I'm going to leave this a little bit so we can glue it on. So now we have, let me turn it this way, that's the 3D side. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial because it was only to create these beautiful little leaves for my tutorial. So I'll see you in the tutorial. Hopefully you're going to follow me and create it. Thank you, and I send you so much loves. So much loves? No, much love, I think. We don't use loves as plural. Don't mind me sometimes in my English. Anyway, until next time. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>